all right hope everyone's doing wonderful today today what i got in store we are doing a continuation of my personal magic the gathering collection and today we're going to check out the contents of this big old briefcase I actually did a review on this briefcase it is the a6 briefcase by kakapopo tcg if you're interested in that please check out my previous videos and you should be able to find it there anyways today i'm just going to open this up check out all the cards inside of it and uh, just have some fun reminisce and check out some cool cards I've done some other parts of this video, and if you're interested in those, please check out those as well. I have a whole bunch of uh, the foam kind of fingers in here to just kind of keep the cards safe. And um, I believe this is a bunch of revised cards, some older rare cards, and these ones are more expensive cards. And I have some random stuff as well over here. Like These are the really cool Kakapopo TCG metal dice they sent me. Super awesome, great quality. I gave away a few of them as well to friends and family. And actually, viewer on this channel, if I can get them out of here. This thing is super packed. Some old, we'll just kind of go through all this stuff. What is this, a random uh, a random sampler pack? I think I opened up some of these on the channel. I think I opened up two of them on the channel on a video or something like that. Again, just the metal dice, very cool. Great quality as well. Interested in these dice or anything, I have done reviews on them as well. Super heavy. Super heavy. It's like a slingshot weight. Got a couple of those dice in here. Um, random sampler pack. These are uh, just some cards. <laughs> These are my patrons. <laughs> and then this is um, just random cards that I would send to patrons if they sign up or something like that. If I have these here. I also have a couple little rule books here. It looks like, I think, Revise, got Mirage, Urgur's Legacy, and maybe another Mirage or Fourth or something. Got Exodus. I don't know where I got these over the years. Maybe just collections. I don't think they're from when I was younger. I don't really think I have anything like that rule book wise from when I was a kid. Just really cool, interesting information right here. Urza's Legacy, Pre Constructed Deck Strategy Guide. This has to do with one of the decks. Not even sure what deck it is, but very cool. Some older stuff right here. Not sure what this one is. Uh, I like revised or something like that. The do list. Yes, I would like the do list. So just cool to have these. Kind of keep them just for historical reasons, I guess. Cool Exodus right here. Interesting set. And it's got a little bit of paper in there. Ultra Pro deck box. The Jester deck box. Very cool. So I just keep these in here just uh, just because. I actually have a couple more. I wonder if they'll fit in here. I have, uh, I have like couple other ones here I got in like a collection. These ones, actually these ones I think are revised. They don't even have, uh, they're just like newsprint. They're not even like a color print. So I think those are the revised. See if I can fit these in here. Aha. That's a little, little tight. It kind of fits. Just a stack of those. The random sampler. A whole bunch of card dividers. Kind of go through those. Top left corner right here I have uh, some old starter decks. This one is a 4th edition Italian starter deck. I kind of just have these just two. Maybe I'll open them up one day. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with them. Just kind of hold on to now. This is an Italian version for the 4th edition starter deck. And then this is a German edition, 5th edition starter deck. I just got these at like a really reasonable price. I think this one was like $15 and this one was like maybe just about the same. Really not too expensive. Just kind of holding on to them. I actually bought this in a collection of three of these. And I spent like... Uh, I don't know, like 15 times 3, and I actually sold the other two, and this is the only one left that I have. It's probably the one that was in the best condition. All French. This is a German. Just just have them in there, just to have them, I guess. And then I guess let's just go through, I guess, uh, over here. Most of these ones are just revised cards. I really do like revised, and uh, even though they might not be worth a lot, I just thoroughly enjoy revised. Got Singer Vampire. Let's see if I can angle this camera down just a touch. Singer Vampire, Black Knight, just like classic card Sacrifice, Scathe Zombies, one of my, such a favorite card right here, one of the cards that got me into the game, got a Terror, and I do think I have these all in order, I think I did this the other day, got Raised Dead, just, I love Revised, and these ones are pretty clean, most of them, the edges are pretty clean, bunch of Raised Dead, got one Cursed Lance, Simulacrum, got a couple of those, got Frozen Shade, just a bunch. I should really thin this out and only keep four of each. Got weakness. Got plague rats. Nasty looking rats. Got like a spore on his back. Just like cut open. It's like a zombie rat. Power and toughness uh, is equal to the number of rats in play. Very cool. 
plague rats, bunch of plague rats, fear. This always reminds me of Indiana Jones where they're in that sewer or whatever. And they run into that wall of skulls. Very cool. Bunch of cards, fear, bunch of those, whole lot of those, way whole lot of those. Got one wall of bone. Some cards I only have one of, some cards I don't have any of, and some I have a lot of. Pestilence, classic iconic card right there, creepy guy, very ravenous, having some foam on his mouth. Drain Life by Douglas Schulter. Howl from Beyond, got Erg Raiders, Erg Riders, Raiders, got Paralyze. The beam right in the belly of the centaur. Boom. Uh, Drudge Skeletons. Beautiful card. Quite a bit of those. Bog Wrath. Wraith. Did I have that in the front? Gloom and Unholy Strength. Did I have a Bog Wraith up front? No, I didn't. Okay. For what I going to have one of those. And then, uh, yeah. One thing is, I think Unholy Strength, at one point, it didn't have this sort of symbol in the background, but they removed it in later editions. So that is the black cards from my revised. And I really like how the cards fit in this storage case as well. Let's see what I got. And then it looks like I got green cards right here. Got Force of Nature, just a big old beast of a card. Two and four greens and eight, eight. And you must pay four green during your upkeep or it deals eight damage to you. That's a steep cost. Living Lands, got Life Lace, a couple of those. Elvish Archers, Titania's Song, Aspect of the Wolf. Cockatrice, I mean, look at this card. It's ridiculous. It's just like a, it's a snake, a chicken, a bird, hybrid. Crazy. Uh, classic Giant Growth, a couple of those, a bunch of those, actually. Unroot Tree Folk, the tree beast guy with squirrels on his shoulder, maybe. Wall of Wood, the eyes in the wall right down there. I just really like revised cards. I think they're really cool. Got Craw Worm, got Lure, a couple of those. I like the apple. It's like an apple with some sort of like snake or something inside of it. It looks delicious. Got Stream of Life. Mark Poole drew it with the little, uh, what is that, uh, salamander down there. The orange salamander. Stream of Life. Got a couple of those. Got Fog. Classic card. Prevent combat damage. Bunch of Fogs. Some grizzly bears. Salmon fishing at the river. Got Wanderlust. Got Scribe Sprites, got Thicket Basilisk, kind of like a death touch creature, Tranquility, beautiful Mending Streams, Douglas Shoulder, Tranquility, got Lanamar Elves, Classic Elf, one green, so one one has tapped add green to your mana pool. Got Regeneration, Giant Spider, huge spider, bigger than the buildings, crawling right over the castle, and look at the webs, it's as thick as ropes. Got War Mammoth, just a big old woolly mammoth, you know. War Mammoth. When you think of War Mammoth, you think the art should have had like plates of metal on or something like that. But I think the artist just took the direction of woolly mammoth. But that's fine. Got Shanelin Dryads, the Tree Woman. Beautiful card right there. Absolutely lovely. And some Maddox. Got Instill Energy. Interesting card. Got Desert Twister. Destroy any card in play. Whatever you want. A land, planeswalker, creature, enchantment. Saga, I don't know, whatever you want. Get rid of it. Desert Twister gone. Got Hurricane. War Mammoth. I guess these ones are out of order. The War Mammoths need to be together. They miss their other brethren. Here we go. Got Wall of Brambles. Spiky Walls. It's a wall, but it has a little bit of power to it. So it's a 2-3. You can regenerate it for 2 and a 3. Beautiful little... Spot of spore or whatever little flower right there. Wall of Brambles. Got Channel. Channel. Got Life Force and Crumble. Those are my green ones. So set these here. And then it looks like we're onto some blue cards. Let's see if I can set these up. This Take out these little dividers. Set them over here. If I can pick it up. There we go. And it looks like some blue cards right here. Got the Jin. Flying for 4 and 2 blue to 5 6. Got mana short. Beautiful cards of Rose right there. Sight of Mine. Sight of Mine. That Siren's Call. Creepy looking art. Burning out lightning or frost. Animate Artifact. Douglas Shoulder. You can tell. Definitely you can tell it's his art. Bunch of those. Got Power Leak. Couple of those. Got Jump. Target creature gets flying till end of turn. Bunch of jumps. This guy's jumping with swords over the wall barrier. Whole bunch of jumps. I really need to just keep this down to four of each copy soon. Psychic Venom. 
lot of those. Mirrorfolk of the Pearl Trident, just classic Mirrorfolk, one blue for a 1-1. One, one. These are pretty much all, most of the revised cards I've just collected over the years. I just kind of put them together. <laughs> Got Blue Elemental Blast. Counter, counters a red spell being cast or destroys a red card in play. Pretty powerful for one mana, just destroy anything red. Just so much hate against red right there. Spell Blast, counter target spell, the casting cost of X. Bunch of those, got Life Tap. Interesting R right there. Just like Sorcerer or Sorceress is completely destroying that guy in the background. Got Sea Serpent, Giant Serpent, attacking this boat of water right there. Got Phantom Monster, creepy looking monster, just a bunch of teeth, some tentacles, some eyes everywhere. Can't even tell what it is, and this thing is flying. Three in a blue, and it flies, and it's a 3-3. Three, three. Pretty creepy. Power Sink. We got, got Flight. This is a good one. Uh, it's an enchantment. Blue target creature is now a flying creature. I like that card better than Jump. Because you can just give it flying. Jump, I guess, is instant speed. Give it flying till end of turn. I like uh, Flight better, though. Got Steel Artifact. A couple of those. Prodigal Sorcerer. It's a guy that can ping you for one damage. One damage when he targets. A 1-1 one, one for three to put out there. Two in a blue. Is Beret. Got Unsummon. Return target creature. To his owner's hand. Bunch of those. Whole bunch of those. A lot, a lot of those. Got Unstable Mutation. Bunch of those as well. Douglas Schulter drew that one. Air Elemental. This is a beautiful art, I think. Three and two blue. It's a four, four with flying. Love the oranges in the background. Love the blue. Just a fantastic looking card. Love it by Richard Thompson. Uh, Phantasmal Forces. Couple of those. Creature Bond. She's bonding with her big old dragon. Got Blue Elemental Blast. Counters a red spell. Uh, being cast or destroys a red card in play. Did I? Did I have some of those in the front? I think I did. Got Phantom Terrain. Phantasmal Terrain. Water Elemental. Cool card right there. And then Wall of Water. You can pump it up, give it some power. Three to put out there. Two and two blue. It's a, it's a zero five. I think I have Blue Elemental Blast in the front. Let me just... I thought I did. I could be wrong. Yeah, here we go. Blue Elemental Blast. I did have some more. Let's see what else I got. So I went through black and green and blue. And I should have red or something. Is this red? This is white. Okay. Got Farmstead. Interesting car right there. Just the Farmstead. White Knight. Beautiful car. Protection from black. First strike. Has the sword uh, cocked back, ready to swing. Savannah Lines, classic card. One mana for a 2-1 creature. Got Pure Lace. A couple of those. A couple of those. This one's pretty beat up. Reverse damage. Interesting art, though. Got Veteran Bodyguard. Resurrection. Circle Protection. Green. Bunch of the protections. Got Red Ward. Got Lance. Give that creature first strike. Very cool. Circle Protection White. Protection from White. Disenchant. Uh, target Enchantment. Or artifact is destroyed. Great card, great versatility. Circle of Protection Blue. Benelish Hero. Uh, banding. It's a 1 1 for 1 white. Got uh, Conversion. All mountains are considered basic planes while Conversion is in play. Pay 2 white during upkeep or Conversion is discarded. Cool. Wall of Swords. Castle. Referrals Parallelity. Very interesting art. Very comic style art. I always thought for this card. A Periled Unicorn, a couple of those. Beautiful Unicorn. A whole bunch of those actually got Green Ward. Healing Slab. I always like these kind of uh, mixed backgrounds. Absolutely beautiful. Dan Frazier. Healing Slab. Salve. Circle Protection Red. Love the reds in this picture. Fantastic. By Mark Tendon. A whole bunch of those. Got Death Ward. Regenerates a target creature. Uh, Holy Armor. Gives that some more toughness, and you can pump up its toughness even more. Melissa Benson, actually have a metal miniature of that. Beautiful. Got semi Healer. Classic card right there. Whole bunch of those. Prevent one damage on any target. Whole bunch of healers right there. Circle of Protection Black. Bunch of those. Holy Strength. Beautiful art. Uh, Guardian Angel. Very cool. Protects you from the damage. Got Mesa Pegasus. I think this is fantastic art. Got its friend flying in the background as well by Melissa Benson. Beautiful art. Whole bunch of those. And I guess that's what I end on for the white. So far we went through black, green, blue, and white. We probably have red. Is this red next? Yep, got red. Got mana barbs. Got earthquake. 
Chaos Lace, interesting R, very prismatic kind of looking. Dragon Whelp, such a cute card. Two and two red. It's a flying. It's a two three creature. You can pump it up, give it some power. And if more than three was spent to it, play to pump it up, it uh, it's dead. It's too small to be put that much energy in. <laughs> Got Flash Flyers, interesting card. All planes in play are destroyed. If you go against a plane stack, this will just devastate them. Shatter Storm, Fire Elemental, beautiful art as well. Three and two reds, a five four creature, Melissa Benson. She's made out of fire, basking in the lava. Keldon Warlord, cool art. Dwarven Warriors, Tunnel, Underground. I wonder who bit dug it. Probably the goblins. Left the trail of goop. Uthin Troll. Got Wall of Fire, Wall of Stone, Fireball, beautiful art right there. Just crazy looking. A tog, classic a tog with the Face cut in half, kind of look like uh, Jack Skellington. Uh, Stone Rain, destroy anyone land for three mana, two and a red. Herlude Minotaur, classic art right there. Tat up, tattooed up face, breathing out uh, warm air, I guess. Got Hill Giant, he's a big guy. I like how the camera angle is pointing up at him, letting you know he's huge. I wonder what is in his bag. Probably people. <laughs> Stone Giant, Mons Goblin Raiders. One mana for a 1-1 one, one creature. Classic goblin right there. Burrowing, target creature, gains a mountain walk. Always reminds me of Bugs Bunny sort of digging his holes, but it's like some sort of unicorn, a uh, vole, mole, something. Yeah. Red Elemental Blast, pretty much the opposite of Blue Elemental Blast. One red, counters a blue spell being cast, or destroys a blue card in play. Great card as well. The Sorcerer, flinging the fireball. Very cool. Bunch of those. Fire Breathing. I always thought that this hand almost looks like a little dragon head as well, but I think it's a claw, but it almost looks like a dragon head as well. Very cool. Fire Breathing, couple of those by Dan Frazier. Shatter, destroys target artifact for one and a red. Some sort of pendant, just breaking. Fire energies destroying it. Bunch of those. Disintegrate. Got Earth Elemental. This rock guy looks like a sumo wrestler. So 4-5 for 3 and 2 uh, red by Dan Frazier. Like a sumo kind of vibe going on. Grey Ogre. He's got some uh, spiky teeth. Very primitive looking. Goblin Balloon Brigade. I like this card. It's a goblin. You can play it down for one red. It's a 1-1. One, one. And you can give it flying till end of turn. Because they have their balloon. You got to pay for it. Give it fire. Give it heat to rise the balloon. Really like that by Andy Rusu. Another fireball. Actually, there was those in the front. I had those out of place. Earthbind. Very cool looking art. And that's what we end on Earthbind. Let me just place these by the other fireballs real quick. Here we go. Fireballs. And then the last one is, uh, what is this going to be? The artifact stuff. Oh, yeah. I was like, what am I missing? You got Armageddon Clock, Disrupting Scepter, a Clockwork Beast, a Jade Monolith. Very interesting art. A whole bunch of these little figures going out to infinity. It's almost like a protection against this wall of fire in the background or something. Four mana. One, you take damage done to any creature on yourself instead, but you must take all of its source of damage is unchanged. Basalt Monolith, great card right there. The Ivory Tower, made out of ivory, got elephant faces on it. The Sun in the Background by Margaret Ogren Keith. Mishra's Moor Machine, Crystal Rod, Wooden Sphere, bunch of spheres. Celestial Prism, interesting art, very simplistic, super simple. <laughs> uh, Black Vice If an opponent has more than 4 cards in hand during his or her upkeep Deals 1 damage to opponent for each card in excess of 4 Really punishes them for having a lot of cards in their hands 1 mana to put out there too Nice artifact The Rack is like the opposite 1 mana If an opponent has fewer than 3 cards in hand during his or her upkeep The Rack deals 1 damage to target to opponent for each card fewer than 3 So if you have a discard deck against it or something You keep getting their hand down to less than 3 They'll be taking damage each turn Ivory Cup Got the Brass Man right there. Artifact Creature to 1-3, and you got to pay 1 to untap them. Kind of like C-3PO. Conservator. Got Rod of Ruin. Just 1 damage to any target for 3 mana. Kind of expensive. Cool looking staff, though. Bunch of those. Glasses of Urza's. I like this card. This card. Um, I thought you could just look at their hand passively. Maybe they updated this card. It's 1 mana. You have to tap it. You may look at opponent's hand. I think in future iterations of this card, it's just you can see your opponent's hand. But cool. You can look at their hand. Got Juggernaut, Obsidian Golem, guys made out of stone, Helm of Chaz Zook. Crazy looking helmet. Ooh, a couple of those. Got Iron Star, 
Soul Net. Cool looking car right there. Throne of Bone. Living Wall. Creepy looking art. Absolutely creepy. It's like eyes and teeth. There's a like a fetus. Super creepy art. So those are my revised cards right there. And I'm just going to put them back in here real quick before we move on to the next section. Just because I want to. So that is the uncommons. I got the mountains right here. I put a red barrier right there. Put the white one after that. Put the white barrier after that. Then I put my blue cards in there. Put a blue barrier after that. I just really like revised cards. I just like the look of them, the feel. There's some older cards. They're not very expensive, and they're just the ones that I kind of collected over the years, and uh, I don't want to sell them or get rid of them. I just uh, think they're really cool. I think they're very cool. And then I got the green ones right here. Put the green barrier behind it. And then I'll move this here. And then I got my black cards right here with Singer Vampire. I'm pretty sure he's just an uncommon. Singer Vampire. You think he'd be a rare, but uh, pretty sure he's just uncommon. And I really like how these dividers can kind of fit in here. The the Velcro dividers can kind of slide them around. All right, got some extra dividers. I'll worry about putting those back later, and I'll worry about putting everything else back. And then I guess let's just go into other sections right here. I'm not really sure what's in here. Let's just kind of see. These are just cards that I enjoy. Uh, I have this one here, literally just because it's a summon sponge. I don't think there's any other sponge creatures in this game. It's a sponge drawn by Ron Spencer. What more to say? It's so cool. It's like a crab sponge creature. One in a blue. Target creature loses flying. A first strike or trample until end of turn. So 1-1. One, one. Not only does it catch fish, it cleans them too. So yeah, it's just a sponge. I like these ones just because of their beebles. I think beebles are fun. Makes me think of uh, Spirited Away or something like that. When the beeble, like the, the, the soot monsters or something. Just fun art right here. I don't even know what they do. It's just because I like beebles. Four and a blue. It's a 3-3. Three, three. It's unblockable as long as defending player controls an enchantment. And I have another version right here. Bouncing beebles. They're bouncing around. They're like these naked little mole rats coming out through the grates. I mean, this art is fantastic. Two and a blue. It's unblockable by defending player controls an artifact. It's a 2-2. Two, two. I remember I went to some magic convention and actually saw the artist who made it. He was selling playmats of it. Almost wanted to get one. But it was it was cool to uh, talk to him about beebles for a second. Just, uh, yeah, I like I like the flavor of those. And these ones, I just really like these cards. I like the art on them, and I like uh, I like the art on them. This one's Unlikely Alliance. Just makes me happy to see different people coming together. So I kept this art. It's like some guy with a powdered wig, and he's in love with uh, this big old green warrior lady with the Cyclops. And you can see they're at, like, a wedding. You got, like, the, the lady's parents in the background. You got his parents in the background. And they're all together, and they're all just hanging out, having fun. So this art... Is just awesome for me, so I like to keep that one. Got Trade Caravan, mostly because I think it's a really cool art. Makes me think of like a bazaar or something like that, just like in the desert with all these sort of animals carrying all this sort of goods and people just go up to trade and find anything. I just really like it. Uh, Love the Art by Kaja Fogolo. Here's another one I got. I got Festival. Did I have another Festival? I guess I only have one Festival. Just a beautiful card, Festival. Um, they're just partying. Who doesn't like that? I got Heroism right here. Just a bunch of those. I literally just have these in there because I really like the art. Uh, Heroism. Literally, this is a uh, awesome art by Mark Poole. There's a warrior guy fighting off monsters with a sword. They're coming after him, and he's got a baby in his hand. I mean, come on. How more of a hero can you get? He's a warrior fighting off all these crazy-looking monsters with a baby in his arm. Beautiful. Love it. Another card right here got cooperation. I just really like the art on this. I really like the message. Uh, just different people cooperating. I like this. Uh, these two just completely different characters just hanging out, having a good time. Absolutely love it. Target creature gains banding. That's what the card does. It gives it banding. But I just really like it for the art and the name. I think it's beautiful. So I just kind of have those in there just because the cards are flavorful to me and I just thoroughly enjoy them. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, and then these ones, I believe, are just older rares. So let's just see how I can get these out. Let's remove this little... Whoa. Wow, those Velcro things are in there pretty pretty tight. Let's see if I can just do this a better way. Take this out. Oh, yeah. Moose loot. I actually got those sleeves for free at a convention. There we go. Now set this here. Boop. 
Really like the Velcro dividers right there. And these ones I think are in some sort of order as well. I guess these are the black cards. Oh no, I think these are white border rares from like 7th and 8th and 9th and started. Well, let's just go through these. Got like Western Paladin, Classic Nightmare from, what is it, 6th edition. Beautiful. Another Nightmare from 7th edition. I like this art way better for the Nightmare. Love the oranges and reds. Another 8th edition Nightmare, Darkmoor Lancer. I love the starter set. I just love seeing the star, the gold star there. Beautiful. Abyssal Horror, just some starter set. Dead Reaper, 3 and 3 uh, black. 6, 5 flying. When it comes into play, you lose 5 life. Seems pretty brutal. Got Wicked Pack, 1 and 2 black. Destroy 2 target non-black creatures, you lose 5 life. Uh, Bellowing Fiend, 7th edition. Reprocess, Earthquake. And I just love older rare cards. I think they're fun. Uh, it'd be cool to make a whole bunch of decks with these. These are just ones that I bought from collections over the years and some I've opened up, I'm sure, when I'm a kid. And I just kind of put them in this binder, the ones that I don't really want to sell. I just want to keep them and have fun with them. Friends want to come over and play some cards. We always have a nice pool to pick from. Got Magnivore, Trained Ogre, a couple of those just from like the starter sets. Got Mana Barbs, another Trained Ogre. I'll put them over here. Just different art, but very similar art. Different art, very similar though. Starter set, 7th edition set. Goblin Hero, this is one card that always confuses me. It's a rare, 2 and a red. It's a rare from starter, it's a 2-2 two -two goblin. Probably one of the worst rares in the game. It's 3 mana for a 2-2. Two -two. It's a goblin, so I guess you can do tribal. It's just such a vanilla creature. It could be a common. It could totally be a common. And like another rare right here, Mons Goblin Raiders. 1 red for a 1-1 one -one goblin. It's a rare the art's really cool, but yeah. And I was just I like the starter set. The the whole feel of the starter cards is fantastic. I love them. Reckless Ember Mage, you got Wall of Wonder, uh, some ninth stuff right here. Archivist got clone. Vizzledrix from Starter, seventh edition. I think Starter and Seventh Edition, different art different art, very similar. By uh, Dave Dorman drew that one and Erica Peterson drew this one. Definitely same direction. Beneathic Monster, the Spirit. I think I might have opened up one of these on the channel. Psychic Transformation, or Transfer, Ransack, beautiful starter right there, Ron Spencer. They're pillaging about kicking kicking everything, just destroying it. Got a Cat Warrior and a person, because they're just in. Temporal Adept, so these like Black Blue, got uh, Nature's Resurgence. Each player draws a card for each car creature card in his or her graveyard. Uh, Nature's Revolt, Weird Harvest, Call of the Wild, Thorn Elemental, one of the cards that got me into this game. I had the Thorn Elemental set when I was a kid. It might be one of my first products I got from Magic the Gathering. I actually opened it up on this channel as well. A different one. Might of the Oaks. Got Morrow. Look at this guy. It's power and toughness are equal to the number of cards in your hand. It's four mana. And he's stronger by more cards in your hand. He's eating like uh, horns or something like that. Got like uh, deer antlers coming out of his mouth or something. Strange. He's a beast of a man. Ancient Silverback. Got Wildcats. Whirlwind. Yeti. Alluring scent, hanging out, naked in a field of flowers. All creatures able to block target creature this turn do so. So it's like lure or something like that. Alluring scent, elder druids, and I got righteousness. Oh, um, actually, I thought this card came out in like Kamigawa or something. I'm pretty sure it actually came out in like Alpha. Could be wrong though. Glorious anthem, blinking spirit. This one's beat up. Ikatin town, five in a white. Put four one one cit white citizen creature tokens into play. Make yourself a nice citizen tribal deck. Cool art though by Tom Wanderson. Elven archers, blinding light. Tap all non-white creatures. That's great, especially going against non-white uh, creatures. Garage wisdom, breath of life. Put target creature card from a graveyard to play. This isn't a rare. I'll put that here. I'll just keep it in there. I'll put it there. I I like that card though, but uh, it's not a rare. Reverse damage. Sarah Angel, did you look at that? Sarah Angel's rarity has jumped all over the place. It was, uh, I think it's uncommon now. But, uh, yeah. Three and two white. It's a uh, four, four flying. That doesn't need to tap to attack, so it has vigilance. Beautiful art. Southern Paladin, Blessed uh, Reversal, Loyal Sentry, Avatar of Hope. The Avatar cards are interesting. Uh, there's a, an ability that makes them cost pretty much just two mana. If you have three life or less, you can pretty much play for two white. It is flying and can block any number of creatures. It's a 4-9 that can block against a thousand creatures if you want, which is really cool. Give you some hope. Disrupting Scepter. If it had life, that'd be cool. And some random uh, Disrupting Scepter right here. 
uh, Pyrexian Colossus, Flying Carpet, Jade Monolith. Look at this art right here. This is fantastic art. Richard Kane Ferguson, also one of my, uh, like, really, I really enjoy their art. Just the colors on it. It's absolutely fantastic. It's hard to tell what's going on. You got, like, a gargoyle right there, some crazy obelisk in the background, like, fire and energy, just, like, water colors everywhere. Beautiful. One, the next time a source of your choice would deal damage to target creature this turn, that damage is dealt to you instead. I like this art better than the other Jade Monolith. And then a random underground river. Uh, colors mana or blue or black, but it deals one damage to you. Great card. Can produce colored mana right away, but just ping you for a little bit of damage. Let's see what else I got. We got some more cards right here. Take out the dividers. And I think the next ones are black border cards. Yeah. Random uh, evacuation. Return all creatures learn his hand. Actually, this is... Uh, Stronghold. I only think I have rares in here that have the actual gold symbol, but I think this is a rare from Stronghold before when they had the colored symbols. Parallel Thoughts, Zephylid, Plagiarize, Constable, got some Ron Spencer shaking the person right there. Breaking Wave, got the Mage, got Pale Moon, one in a blue until end of turn. If a player taps a non basic land for mana, it produces a colorless mana instead of its normal type. Kind of cool. Uh, Summon, f summon for uh, recantation, false memories, very cool. Possessed Avon, Battle of Wits, uh, Reigns of Power. I love, I love Odyssey. That was one of my sets I remember very much when I was a kid. Veiled Crocodile, Blizzard Elemental, Archivist. You can tap him to draw a card. He's a summon wizard. With cool old mustache reading his book. Beautiful art by Pete Ventures. Mistform Ultimus. The Mistforms are uh, cool cards because they have uh, like Changeling. I think this is before Changeling was a thing. Uh, it's every creature type, even if a card isn't in play. And it has this. It may attack as though it weren't a wall. Since it does have the wall creature type, it can still attack. Got the Vandal. Troublesome Spirit. Temporal Adept. Return target permanent to its owner's hand. It's a wizard. Wizard Tribal. Uh... Wizard Legend, Rhea Academy Chancellor, 2 and a blue. It's a 1-1. One, one. Whenever you want to permanent control, targets of spell or ability controlled by one of your opponents. Uh, you may draw a card, and Rhea uh, Academy Chancellor is enchanted. You may draw another card. So whenever you become a target of something, you can draw the Illusion of Mediocracy. He's convincing him to do the work for him. <laughs> Zephylid. I actually had one of those in the front. Ether Barrier. Oath of Scholars. Exodus. Really cool set. Future Sight. Uh, this has been reprinted a few times, I believe. Two and three blue. Play with the top card of your library revealed. You may play the top card of your library as though it was in your hand. So it's pretty much adding another card to your hand, but the opponent can see it. Read of Ruins. It'd be cool if you can manipulate it. Planeswalkers Mischief. Would you look at that? The card has Planeswalker in it before Planeswalkers or even a card type. And I think I had uh, Zephylid right here. There we go. So that is the blue ones. I don't know why I have this one in there. It's a good card. But, uh, yep. Let's see what other got. Got some other colors right here. Looks like black. Black Market. This is a great card. Three and two black. Enchantment. Whenever a creature is put into a graveyard from play, put a charge counter on it. At the beginning of your pre-combat main phase, add black to your mana pool for each charge counter on Black Market. How cool is that? Sacrifice something to like an altar, get some mana from that, and then also if it's like not a token, it goes in your graveyard, then you can get more mana each turn from Black Market. This is a great card. Jeff Easley, Corrupted Officials, Decaying Soil. I might have opened this one up on the channel, my Odyssey packet. Uh, Gang Gangrenous Goliath, Pyrexian Infiltrator. Man, I just love these old cards right here. They're fantastic. Just like step down memory lane. Beautiful art. Love it. They don't really draw art like this anymore. I really did like the Throne of Eldraine art, though. That was really cool. Apprentice, Necromancer, Pyrexian Infiltrator, Entropic Scepter. Very cool. Entropic Entropy by Ron Spencer. Three and two black flying. Its power and toughness equal to the number of cards in opponent's hand. It damages any player. That player chooses and discards a card. So you, you don't want that many cards in their hand. Taboo's Decree. Uh, Divining Witch. Death Pit Offering. Uh, Death Pit Offering comes into play. Sacrifice all creatures you control. Creatures you control get plus two, plus two. Pretty powerful. Mortal Kombat. I actually have some of those in another binder. Uh, if you have 20 more creature cards in your graveyard, you win the game. A Nefurious Lich. Extortion. Uh, Pyrexian Plague Lord. 
Eviscerator, nasty name, Dawn of the Dead. Good movie. Uh, Makes me want to watch zombie movies. Two and three black. At the beginning of your upkeep, you lose a life. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may return to a creature card from a graveyard to play. That creature gains haste until long turn. Remove it from the game at the end of turn. Cool. Pete Ventures. Desperate Research. Beautiful Art. Ron Spencer. One and a black. Name a card other than basic land. Then reveal the top seven cards of your library. Put all of them with the name into your hand. Remove the rest from the game. Cool. Got uh, V-Build. Beautiful card. Ron Spencer. I love Ron Spencer's art. Just a whole bunch of Ron Spencer stuff right here. Infernal Genesis. Like, look at this. It's so detailed and busy. It's like some crazy morphing creature, cat person, tiger, a bangled tiger, got like a bear to, I don't even know, just beautiful. Nice escape uh, master, instigator, creepy looking pirate lady right there, mirror folk in the background, repentant uh, vampire, makes me think of uh, Wesley Snipes, whatever that movie he was with the vampire with the swords. Sanger vampire, beautiful card right there. Upgraded to a rare. I think he was originally a uncommon. Got a neck revolver. A couple of those. Got blood curler. Got a reaper. Got a grinning demon. Ill-gotten gains. Abyssal horror. I like the abyssal creatures. Eastern paladin. Parallax nexus. Silence specter. Dark hashling. Cool R right here. Four and two black. It's a 3-3 flying. When it comes into play, destroy target on a bad creature. That creature cannot be regenerated this turn. Very cool. It's a flying. Uh, Sleeper Agent. This is an interesting card right here. From Urza Saga. One black for a 3-3. But what's the downfall? Well, the downfall is when Sleeper Agent comes into play, target opponent gains control of it. So you put it into play for one black, then your opponent gains control of it. During your upkeep, Sleeper Agent deals two damage to you. So your opponent gains control of it. It deals two damage to them during their upkeep, but they get a free 3-3. Interesting art, though. It's like a, a lady, but the shadow is of a monster by Randy Gallagos. Rapid Decay. Hint of insanity. Just a hint of it, you know? Death March. Endemic Plague. Planner Despair. Apocalypse Stuff. Cabal Shrine. Witch Engine. Lurking Skeege. A, a scourge. And then Liability. One and two. Black. Whenever a card is put into a player's graveyard from play, the player loses one life. All right. Love these older rares right here. Just so much fun to check them out. Whoop. Flip the card right there. What is this? This is red. Got Puppeteer's Verdict. These flip a coin cards are pretty fun. One and two red. Flip a coin. If you win, destroy all creatures of power two less. If you lose, destroy all creatures of power three or greater. Cool card. Got Mine Layer. Keldon Overseer. Crag. Uh, Serenator. Wake of Destruction, crazy card. Uh, three and three red, destroy target land and all lands with the same name as that land. Would you look at that, destroy mountains. Bulwark, Beldum, Mana Catch, Veteran Brawlers, Pulverize, couple of those, Avatar Fury, again the Avatar cards, there's like uh, something to be mad that you can play for two mana, flying. If an opponent controls seven or more lands, Avatar Fury costs six less to play, so you can play it for two red if your opponent has six or more lands. And you can pump up its power. It's a 6-6 six, six that you can get down for two. Pretty cool. Got Bulwark. Pyromancer. Flailing Manticore. He's flailing. Shivan Hellkite. Skirk Arkanst. Butcher Ogre. Nasty creature. Breaking Point. Savage Fire Kit. Uh, Petrodon. Hellbent Raider. Electri Electrite. <laughs> Bloodhound. Two and a red to 1-1. One, one. Whenever you're dealt damage, you may put a, that many 1-1 one, one counters on it. At the end of your turn, remove all 1-1 one, one counters from it. Okay, so strange. Uh, Battle Squadron, Sulfuric Vapors, a couple of those. Possessed Barbarians, got Torment, uh, got the Worm, the Scout. I have four of one of these. Very cool for Barbarian Tribal. One and two red. It's a 2-2. Two, two. All your Barbarians get plus one, plus one. And you can pump up a target Barbarian itself. Well, not itself, because it's not a Barbarian. Uh, another Barbarian or something like that. It is a Dwarf Legend. Very cool. Got Bloodshot Cyclops. A couple of those. Stand or Fall. Goblin Festival. Festival for Goblins. Vashino Sand Swimmer. Skull Scorch. Lithopage. Mog Sentry. And Molten Hydra. Beautiful card right there couple more colors to go over here let's see what we got we got the white cards right now uh dominaria's judgment 
Very cool. Look at that art. Crazy. The land is just scorned by John Avon. Two and a white until end of turn. Creatures you control gain protection from white if you control plains. From blue if you control an island. From black if you control a swamp. From red if you control a mountain. And from green if you control a forest. So whatever lands you control, they gain protection of. Degavolver. False Dawn. Avatar of Hope. Again, if it uh, meets the criteria, it can be played for two um, mana. Actually, this is the same card we saw in the white border cards. Limited resources. This is a cool card. One white. It's an enchantment. Whenever limited resources comes into play, each player chooses five land he or she controls and sacrifices the rest. As long as there are ten or more lands in play, that player cannot play lands. That's pretty cool. So, uh, keeps your lands capped at like five. Aven Shrine, Crusading Knight. Or if you can somehow get your lands up to ten and they don't have ten, I don't know, you could, you could do some crazy things. Remove all cards and all graveyards from the game. Morning Tide. Cool art right there by Tony Cizzullo. Got the Wrath, Nomad Captain, Soul Sculptor, Possessed, Nomad, Oblitation, Gustwalk Savian, the Sky Marshal. Got the Rebel cards, uh, the New Dawn, Sigil of uh, New Dawn, Angel of Retribution, Interbid Hero, the Attendants, Spiritual Asylum. Got the Valor, Paladin, and Vec. Coal Arm Bruiser, uh, Divine Presence, got Route. You may pay Route anytime. You can play an instant if you play two more. Destroy all creatures that can't be regenerated. It's a sorcery for two, three and two white, and you can play it for five and two white. Instant speed. Ron Spencer, Crazy Art. Elite Archers, got Flicker, got Reborn Hero, Faith Healer, uh, Beautiful Rebecca Guai. Griffin, sort of like cat creature. Griffin, hybrid, beautiful. It's got a chain on it. It's like the pet of that guy. Master Healer, Mystic Crusader, uh, Reverend Mantra, False Prophet, <laughs> uh, Sunscape Master, Harsh Judgment, uh, uh, Cornered Market. This poor guy's cornered. The Gavolver. Spiritual Asylum, Common Cause, uh, Transcendence. Interesting card right here. He's pretty much transcendent reality or something. It's crazy fire right there. He's floating above his village. Three and three white. Enchantment. You don't lose the game for having zero or less life. Okay. When you have 20 or more life, you lose the game. Okay. Whenever you lose life, you gain two life for each one life you lost. So you have to play a strange game where... If you lose life, you gain 2 life. So if you lose 10 life, you gain 20 life. And if you have more than 20 life, you lose the game. But if you have 0 life, you don't. So you, somehow you have to <laughs> somehow balance that out. I don't know. I'm sure there's decks that can do something with that. Just a very strange card. Got Rave of Reckoning and Angelic Chorus. Whenever a creature comes into play under control, gain life to the creature's toughness. Very cool. All right. Got a couple more piles right here. What is it? What are we on right now? Is it green? I think we're on green. Yes. Got Megatherium. Collective Unconscious. Four and two green. Draw a card for each creature you control. Very cool. Vernal Equinox. Vine Dryad. An Evolver. Mag Mahongworm. The Jin. Centaurs. Another Worm. Manga Worm. Mahonga Worm. Hidden Herd. Hidden Herds. Uh, Bifurcate. Well, the creature's like morphing into another one. Forgotten Harvest. One in a green. It's an enchantment. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may remove a land card from your graveyard from the game. If you do, put a 1-1 one -one counter on target creature. Mythic Proportions. Penumbra Worm. Got Vexing Beetle. Rushwood Elemental. Look at that. It's five green mana. It's a 4-4 four -four trample. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may put a 1-1 one -one counter on Rushwood Elemental. Very cool. Beast of a creature. Sky Shroud Behemoth. Tempting Worm. Voice of the Woods. This is an interesting card. Um, five mana, three and two green. It's a two-two elf lord. But you untap five, uh, tap five elves you control. Put a seven-seven green elemental creature token into play. I feel like that's a pretty cool card. Cause elves, you're gonna have a lot of elves out there. You can tap them and make a big old seven-seven creature. Greener pastures, ancient silverback, dual nature, ment uh, Nantucko mentor. Uh, Thirst Nantucko Primus, below is Nantucko Cultivator, the Nantucko stuff, Phantom Nantucko, 
Uh, Gia's Herald. Creature spells can't be countered by spells or abilities. Great card right there. Cool elf. Put this in your deck to stop counter magic against your creatures. Sepperling Burst. Uh, Chlorophant. Rocks. Different art for rocks. Planeswalker's Favor. Again, Planeswalker before they were a thing. Two and a green, three and a green. Target opponent reveals a card at random from his or her hand. Target creature gets plus X plus X till end of turn where X is a real card uh, converted mana cost. Okay, cool. Got Whirlwind. Hidden Predators. Hidden Predators again. Thicket Elemental. Uh, Midsummer Revel. Having a party. Ivory Elemental. Hidden Gibbons. The monkeys are hidden in the trees. Sapperling Infestation by Heather Hudson. Beautiful art right there. It's enchantment. One and a green. Whenever a player... Uh, pays a kicker cost. You put a 1-1 one, one green uh, sapling creature token into play. There you go. Kickers. And that's right. Kickers were back then from Invasion. Uh, Verdant Successor. Verdant Touch. Sitan Corrosion Protector. 3 green to 2-2 two, two, Centaur Druid Legend. And it has tap and untap Druid to control to add green to your mana pool. You can tap itself or another one to add some green. Very cool. And then the last pile of cards... Whoa! It flunked out of there. Let's see. Did I mess up these piles? It's very possible I did. Oop. Yeah, these piles are a little bit... Okay, let's just see. Randomly have Yavamaya Coast over there. Very cool. Nice little land. And it looks like I have uh, multicolor cards. No, artifact cards here. I got this pack in a random foil collection. I think it's all the same card in here. Not really sure. I just don't really want to open it up. It's from 2009. Not really sure what it is. Maybe stores got them and gave them out. I think it's the same card in there. It's hard for me. I don't really want to shift it around and open it or anything like that. So I'm just going to kind of leave it. And these are just artifacts. Oop, there's two cards right here. Oh, some other lands. What are these lands as well? Got two Forsaken City. From uh, Forsaken City, doesn't untap during your untap step. Okay. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may remove a card in your hand from the game. All right. Add one mana of any color to your mana pool. Strange, strange card. Got Copper Gnomes. Got the Scales, Scrying Glass, Predatory Flagship. Cool card right here. Five mana. It's a legendary artifact. It's like the Weatherlight Ship. Two, target creature gains flying tail in a turn. So you can give a creature flying. How cool is that? And five and tap, destroy target creature with flying. So first of all, you can give your opponent's creature flying. Then you can instantly destroy it. Cool. Mark Tendon, beautiful card. Tooth of Ramos, three mana. Add one white mana to your mana pool. Sacrifice Tooth of Ramos. Add white. Add one white mana to your mana pool. So if you want, you can tap it. Add white. Sacrifice it while it's tapped. Add another white, giving you two white mana. Got Legacy Weapon, cool card right here. Seven mana, great for a sliver deck because it has all the mana that you need. Remove target permanent from the game for five mana, one of each color. White, blue, black, red, green. If Legacy Weapon will be put into a graveyard from anywhere, reveal Legacy Weapon and shuffle it into its owner's library instead. And this would be a good card for like a mill deck because you literally can't be milled out because if your opponent mills you down to zero, they means they milled this card from your library into your graveyard. Then you have to put this card back into your library. So it kind of keeps you from being milled out pretty much. But then when you draw this card, uh, you're going to lose anyway. I don't know. Another Forsaken City. I have that. Another Legacy Weapon. Beautiful. Mask of Intolerance. Pyrexian Colossus. I got Jalum Tome. Got this. Juntu Stakes. Cool. Uh, Mindless Ab Automation. Beast of Burden. Uh, Paralaxian uh, Inhibitor. There's uh, some with fading counters. Yep. I have Viagamoth. Some crazy surgery machine. Doom Cannon. It's a Doom Cannon. Being powered by a slug creature. Six mana. A Doom Cannon comes into play. Choose a creature type. Three tap. Sacrifice a creature of chosen type. Doom Cannon deals three damage to target creature or player. So great for doing some damage. Thrawn Weaponry. Uh, Chimeric Staff. Chimera. Four mana. X. Uh, becomes artifact creature power toughness equal to X till end of turn. Very cool. Urza's blueprint. Blueprint. He's got Echo. Draw a card. Super expensive. You pretty much got to pay six mana to draw a card. And then Echo is during your next upkeep after this permanent comes into play under control. Pay its casting cost or sacrifice it. So you got to pay 12 mana to keep this thing alive two turns. But then you can kind of just keep tapping it for card draw. But that's kind of expensive. Umbacilius. A purging scythe. A lotus guardian. 
Seven mana, it's a 4 4 flying that can produce one mana of any color to mana pool. Has Lotus in the name, got Waitstone. Three mana, three. Each player puts the top two cards of his or her library into his or her graveyard, so you kind of mill each other. Scrying Glass, Thrawn Golem, and a random Infest card as well. This one's sealed as well. Uh, cool. Cool full art card. I got that in that collection as well. I think I had um, Scrying Glass in the front. Let me just see. Do, do, do. There we go, Scrying Glass. There we go. And then that is all of the older rares I have, so I'm just going to put them back. All right, I just put all the random rares I have back in the top right here. Now let's kind of go through these top loader cards right here. If I can get them out of here safely. There we go. Let's just see. And uh, there's really no rhyme or reason to the top loader cards I have. I just kind of like them and thought they deserved to be in top loaders. And I can't get myself to get rid of these right here. These are the foil guru lands that I found in the top of a fat pack box, and I felt like I won the lottery. But under a close examination and a lot of research, I realized that they're just um, fake cards that I think someone hid for someone else to find. I bought the Fat Pack box off of eBay, and I think it was meant for the eBay seller, not me. So I <laughs> I can't give myself the heart to get rid of them. It was such a crazy experience, and I documented the whole video, and uh, I felt like I won the lottery, and it was just a lot of fun. So anyways, let's just go through these. Uh, I have Humility. Uh... Enchant creatures lose all abilities and it's a 1-1 one, one creature. Or each creature loses all abilities and 1-1 one, one creature. So all creatures are just 1-1s one, with no abilities. It's got two squandered resources. I had two humilities. You got tome, uh, tombstone, stairwell. Got pyrexian tower. Add colors mana to your mana pool. Sacrifice a creature. Add two black to your mana pool. Full rest stronghold. Great card. Beautiful legendary land from stronghold. Add one colorless mana to your mana pool. And one in a black. Tap put target creature card from your graveyard. Uh, on top of your library, so very cool. Got two Pyrexian altars, three mana, sacrifice a creature, add one mana of any color to mana pool. Great sacrifice outlet, really great. Uh, Slaughter Pact, it's a zero cost instant, instant. I just thought it was cool because it's zero cost. It's black though, destroys target non black creature. At the beginning of your next upkeep, pay two and a black. If you don't, you lose the game. Yep. Got Deranged Hermit, great card. I actually found a place of these in a collection, but they're in my squirrel deck right now. Three and two green. Uh, it's got Echo. It's a one one, and it comes into play with four squirrels, and all your squirrels get plus one plus one. Got Shallow Grave. Got uh, Contamination two and a black during your upkeep. Sacrifice a creature or Contamination. Whenever a land is tapped for mana, it produces Swamp instead of the normal type. So pretty much shut your opponent out of their mana color if you could. Got Planar Gate. Great card. Actually bought this in a card store many many years ago. Six mana. It's an artifact. Pay up to two less than required whenever casting a summon spell. So creatures cost two less for you. Beautiful art right now. This is from Legends. Got Liliana, uh, Heretic Healer. Actually, I uh, really like these. This is uh, one of the first Liliana Painswalkers I ever got. It's a flip card, and I was so happy when I opened it. Very cool. Beautiful from Magic Origins. Actually opened up the Jace version of the foil version and a booster pack on this channel uh, many years ago. <laughs> When he was very popular, that card. Got Lotus Bloom. Got a revised Brain Geyser. Got Propaganda. Got uh, Taiga. This is the only dual end I have. The the official one. I actually bought this in a small collection off of eBay. Cost me about $20, maybe like six years ago or something like that, before I started making videos. And then I uh, opened it up. Got really lucky. Just randomly in there. It's a green and a red dual end. Beautiful. Cool. Got uh, Force of Will. Actually opened this one up on the channel in a random collection I purchased. Three and two blue. It's a counter spell that you can pay without paying its mana cost. So you can pay one life or remove a blue card in your hand to play it. Very cool. Most powerful counter spell. Dryad Arbor. It's a land creature. It's a forest. That's a creature. You don't have to pay for it. It's a 1-1 one -one that comes in for free. And uh, it produces green. Great card. Got Defense of the Heart. A uh, re beautiful revised mana vault. One mana. Add three colors. Mana to your mana pool. You must pay four during your upkeep to untap it, but very cool. Retribution of the Meek. I got a Nickel Bolus. This is an Italian version from Legends. The oldest Nickel Bolus I have. I have some from Chronicles and stuff like that, but this is the one from Legends. Uh, it is Italian, though. I have these random three forests from uh, some sort of magic uh, set. It has a little M down there. I think it's from like uh, a promo or Pro 2 or something like that. I just have three of these. Got them some sort of collection. Pretty cool. Got Peldegriff. Uh, one, a white, a blue, and a green. I pretty much have this in here just because it's a giant flying purple hippo. 
It's four four summon legend. You pay white, you give a flying, but your opponent get, get, gains two life. You pay blue, uh, return to its owner's hand. Target opponent draws a card. You pay green, gains trample. But then your opponent puts a one one hippo token onto the battlefield. Uh, you can do a lot with this guy. It's just a wild card. Got myself a revised Wheel of Fortune. Got this one in the store a long time ago. Two and a red. All players must discard their hands and draw seven new cards. Drawing seven cards for three mana, super powerful. Got a random Foil Sarah Angel still in the package right here. Open this up somewhere on this channel. And I got the Foil uh, Thorn Elemental from 7th Edition Starter that I opened up on this channel as well. This is one of the first cards that got me into this game as well. I remember opening it up, uh, playing this deck against my brother's Rock deck, and we just battle until the night. <laughs> till, till night. It was so much fun. So those are pretty much the cards I have for my uh, top loaders. Let's see, let me slide these back in here. No really rhyme or reason to them. Some of them are more valuable. Some of them I just liked, and over the years I've just kind of kept them in top loaders. And I think that's literally all the cards that I have inside of my binder. Just had some random little dice, uh, some random little rule books. These ones are all of my patrons. Uh, I do have little cards with my patrons. Very cool on there. And I got the Owl Familiars, which I give out to patrons if they sign up and uh, ask for the signed card. Um, got these random little rule books and stuff that I keep. Uh, these random starter ducks, uh, Italian and German, 4th edition, 5th edition. The small little sampler pack right here. I opened up two of these on the channel. I think there's just like a... I don't remember what's in here. But uh, they're just fun to have. And um, wait, what is this? Oh, I missed a part. Okay, there's these ones right here. These are multicolor cards right here. Got Questing Feldegriff. A couple of those. I got these ones just because uh, they're flying hippos again. Got Doomsday Spectre, Radiant Kuva, the False God, Noble Panther, this Neshoba, Henna Ship's Navigator, beautiful. Stalking Assassin, got Void. Uh, Reckless Assault. Love the old multicolor borders, just like the gold coloring. Fantastic. Natural Emergence, Keldon Twilight, Armored Guardian. There you go. Very cool. Actually, I need to set these over here. Let's see if I can do right there in the back. Anyways, a lot of fun to open this, uh, open up my old collections and check them out with you all. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you like these videos. I know they're a bit long winded and a bit longer, but I thoroughly enjoy just going through my cards, talking a bit, and just having some fun with you all. Uh, I love Magic the Gathering. I love sharing uh, the art, the cards, and the experience with you all. And I hope you're all having a wonderful 2020. Stay positive. Keep on keeping on. I love you all. And thanks for stopping by. And I'll catch you all in the next one.